Good morning, Grand Middle School. Today is Thursday, September 5th. It's a 2.30 dismissal. I'm your host, Amaya, and this is my co-host, Tori. Today is a great day to be a general. What's cooking on the menu today? Galaxy cheese pizza or turkey and noodles with garlic Texas toast. At breakfast, enter through the door with Mrs. Uh, White. Follow all Mrs. Kleiner's directions. Treat yourself, others, and the building with respect. Absolutely no food can leave the lunchroom. None. This means no open bags of chips, no closed bags of chips, or no drinks. If an adult sees you with the food, you will be asked to throw it away. Remember, no food is allowed in the classroom. Students, this is an expectation in all classes. When an adult asks you to give them your food or put it away, you are expected to follow the request the first time the direction is given. Let's, hover, let's head over to what's happening in the world of GMS sports. Host, cheer has practice tonight, Thursday from 2.45 to 4. Six, seven, and eighth grade girls basketball have practice Friday from 4.30 to 6. Boys basketball has conditioning tonight from 2.45 to 4 on the field. Friday, the basketball boys will have open gym from 2.30 to 4. Our softball girls will play tonight at AC Central at 4.30 on Thursday. Baseball plays tonight at Rotary Park versus Glenwood at 4.30. Palms has practice from Friday from 3 to 5. Now back to our hosts. Thank you. Dress code is still in effect. Jackets and coats are still not allowed in classrooms. This does not include zipper hoodies. Just keep them zipped, but sure to take off your hoods down. When entering the building, finally, purses are not allowed in class. You will need to put them away into lockers, include messenger messenger bags. Boys and girls, anyone, no one is allowed to have a purse. Clear, not clear. It does not matter. AP teachers, please pause now and make sure these expectations are being followed. Students, you need a purple laminated nurse pass in order to see the nurse. You cannot just go on your own. Additionally, you cannot be in the hallway without a pass. You also cannot be in the hall the first 10 minutes or the last 10 minutes of class. So there is no need to ask. Cell phones must be put into lockers. This is unfortunately a district policy. Please do not please do not give your teachers or the adult a hard time. They're just following expectations. Now some activity announcements. Come out and join us for an evening of fun at GMS at our Meet the Teacher Night and Back to School Bash tonight. From 4 to 7, we currently have over 20 vendors slated to come. Teachers' rooms will be open from 5 to 6 p.m. We can't wait to see you. Picture day is coming up. Get your hair done. It's on September 19th. GMS Drama Club is coming back to camp. The first meeting will be September 11th from 1.45 to 4. Hope to see you there. Jazz Band will meet September 10th at 2.30 and show choir the 12th and at 2.30. Now back to our host for the rest of the night. Wait, remember once you are in, you're in. So no going into class and then back out. This includes leaving your stuff in classrooms. You are in middle school. Please use your lockers. All these expe expectations are posted on the house rules in all of your classrooms. When you come to school, go through the west door, take all metal things out of your bag, and put them in a basket. This includes binders, Chromebook, water bottles, metal, etc. Remember to be respectful of others' property and to and from school. The expe expectation at grade is to keep your hands and feet to yourself at all times during the school day and on your way home from school. For your safety, students should only cross the designated crosswalk areas, Chatham Road, Stange, and Amos. Car riders remember to only enter from the west parking lot near the 1900 building. Now rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's joke is, what did the Dutch woman say when her cheese award was taken away from her? What? It was too good at to be true.
If you have a joke you want to share, email it to Miss Strouch or write it down on a piece of paper and place it in her mailbox outside of room 108. Our idiom today is read between the lines. When you read between the lines, you try to understand what someone implies, but but it does not openly state when they say or write something. A good writer doesn't tell the reader everything directly, but leaves it up to the reader to figure things out for themselves by reading between the lines. Our vocabulary word today is fra fragile. Fra fragile means breakable, delicate, or frail. Please handle this vase with care. It is very fragile. Do we have any birthdays? Yes, Maurice Smith in 8th and Tavil Steen in 7th. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Remember to take your Chromebook home and get it charged and have a great day, Grant.